Hello, hello, what's going on? Welcome to Jessica Ward TV. I am here in Booker Middle School's gym with Emile Polonese, who is an international basketball player in France, correct? Yes, ma'am. Six foot five, 220 pounds, and we are here in the flesh live. <laughs> Thank you, guys. You doing? I'm doing fine. Thank you guys for having me. I want to just start off by saying, you know, God gets all the blessing for where I'm at right now, and I want to say thank you for having me here and, you know, showing the world what I've become. Of course, thank you for coming. So you're just getting here, you're just flying in. Where are you coming from? I'm um, coming from France as we speak, a uh, 13, 14 hour uh, plane ride, and I'm here for a week just enjoying the Sarasota vacation life. So you were in, did you just get done playing? Are you there, you're there playing right now, right? Yeah, yeah, we're still in season right now. Um, it's a 10 month season. Um, we're five and a half months in, and we have four and a half months to go. So we're just taking a three-week break from the league, and they're allowing us to go home for a week. Okay, awesome. Well, how do you feel being back home? Uh, I feel great. Uh, this is one of the gyms where I put up a lot of points, yep. a lot of memories. So it feels great to be here, and I just, you know, always giving God the praise and glory for bringing me to this opportunity. And like I said, once again, I just want to say thank you for the interview. So being from Sarasota, you're welcome, and being from Sarasota um, and now being overseas, what is it like to have that experience being from such a, you know, like a smaller city and yeah. now you have a international experience? Uh, it's, it's great. Um, being from Sarasota, it uh, humbles me in a different way. It's like showing me like you can make it out of Sarasota. So going to France and learning how they do things in the culture, and I speak the language. Yes, so Haitian American. I'm Haitian American. Haitian American. Now, were you born in America or born in? Haiti? I was born in America, okay. but so you're Haitian -American. I'm Haitian American okay. for sure, <laughs> and I speak French okay. fluently. So I just uh, getting used to adapting in different cultures, and I've been to seven different countries in the last six years. So. That it's pretty unbelievable. So is that one of the perks of being an international basketball player that you get to see all of these amazing countries and you get to have all of these experiences? Um, yeah, the, the best perk of playing international basketball is the tax-free money. It's tax-free, you get to travel the world for free, and you get to learn, you know, different, you know, cultures and different experience on how, you know, they comprehend things and how they eat and how they sleep and you know coming from a small city in Sarasota Florida is teaching me a lot and is teaching me to continue to be humble right now you are the nephew of Old and Polonese yes you are the nephew of Old and Polonese who was drafted in the first round to mm -hmm. the Chicago Bulls now so has basketball always been a part of your upcoming or your upbringing and all that? I think basketball has always been a part of the upcoming and you know, having somebody like him in my life and somebody that always talked to me and mentored me in the right direction, I think he's a big key to my success. Okay. Second versus God. Versus God. Second. Versus God. And how, how did he help you? Um, just staying in my ear when I went to college, um, telling me don't just think about the money and to finish my degree. And also I'm two or three classes away from finishing my master's. So just giving me the whole perspective on, it's just not about basketball, but it's about life. And just, you have to mix the good with the bad. And it's gonna be good days in basketball, it's gonna be bad days. It's gonna be good days in life, it's gonna be bad days. So just continuing to you know, progress as a man. Right, and I did see that you have your bachelor's in broadcast journalism. So if basketball did not go the way that it's gone, what were you going to be doing? I was gonna ask you for a job. <laughs> No, you were gonna ask me for a job. I'm asking other people for a job. Um, yeah, I, w I would love to. I would love to do broadcasting. Um, that's my passion, and also I love to coach. So I'm right now in San Diego. I'm uh, training kids and coaching kids as we speak in the summertime. So I just want to continue, you know, giving back to the community. Like I run uh, camps here in Sarasota during the summertime. So I just want to continue giving back, letting you know people know if you don't make it to the NBA. If you don't make it overseas, you still can be somebody. So I got my degree for that. Cool, and can you tell us a little bit about the camps that you run? Uh, the camps I run is the Rise Above the Rim basketball camp in Sarasota, Florida. It's free, kids from age six to 13. And then the second group is kids from 13 to like 20. And we just, you know, it's 
free food, free drinks, backpack giveaways, uh, school supplies. We're just giving things to the kids and letting them know like you have a weekend to let loose, to, you know, be a kid, enjoy life and, you know, continue, you know, going for the ultimate goal. And that's to be a professional, hopefully get a scholarship and finish school. Right. And where did that um, passion and that like idea of giving back come from for you? Um, I think it came in from my mom. My mom is a very passionate person and she always loves giving back. She gives back to Haiti a lot. So I think just, you know, looking at her footsteps and how she give back to people and she'll give the shirt off her back, it just make me humble and just continue giving me the drive to want to do good and want to help others that can't. Right. And what would you, what advice would you give to a person who maybe sees themselves mm -hmm. in you and, um, has a life of something like what you came from or like has the same kind of Oh, uh, the first advice I would give a person is first get into God first and continue learning the Bible, which I'm doing as we speak. I'm not perfect. And secondly, just, you know, keep reaching for the stars, reach for your, um, your ultimate goal, whether it's being a professional on the court or being a professional off the court. But you got to have goals, you know, have a plan A, have a plan B, have a plan C without a plan A, plan B ain't gonna work without a plan B, a plan C ain't gonna work. Keep having plans, back them up. So I just continue to tell you to keep being successful and keep learning. And through your life, I can see that you definitely had your plan A, your plan B, your plan yeah, C. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You first were, did some work with the D-League, correct? Yes, yeah, I did two years with the D-League, the Lakers D-League. Okay. <laughs> and then um, from there, you went to your international playing. Yep, I went international right after that. So tell us a little bit about your experience in the D-League. Uh, the experience in the D-League was, it was amazing. Um, it's sort of like the NBA, is just right under the NBA. So it's, you're not getting paid like the NBA though. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it's an amazing experience. Um, it humbles you because it shows you you're not really playing for much, but then you are playing for much because you're playing to get a call up or a professional overseas job, but then the money's not that much. So it humbles you in a different situation where you're asking yourself, do you really want to put your body, mind, soul to this to get to the ultimate goal? And me as a person and Hopefully the other kids that's, you know, growing up in Sarasota that's trying to do something with their life, you gotta have humbling experience. Right. How do you, you know, how do you, how do you feel being back home, being mm -hmm. in this surrounding, you know, did you go to, you went to Booker Middle, Booker High and Elementary. Uh, Booker Elementary. Okay, so uh -huh. what is it like to be in Booker Middle? <sighs> it's, it's, a, it's an amazing experience. Uh, Booker made me the person I am today. Um, Booker Elementary brought back so many memories and of course Booker Middle School did too. And Booker High was, you know, very special. Broke a lot of records, state champion. <laughs> but it was a great experience and I just thank everybody that was in my corner that helped me out through, you know, high school and middle school and elementary. It made me the person I am today. Okay, and so in California you say you coach? Mm-hmm. What kind of, what team? Uh, coaching, uh, I coach middle school, like like whenever I can, and I do AAU stuff. And uh, the, the other, I do side training, like training kids on the side also. So just giving back, helping them out, you know, teaching them the game. Okay, and tell me a little bit about your family. Okay, my family, um, I have four brothers and four sisters. I got a beautiful fiance getting married this summer. She's um, very beautiful, y'all. Very beautiful, very beautiful. <laughs> um, hopefully, uh, I have, I want to probably play like four or five more years to finish up, start a family. And my brothers and sisters are all doing well. My mother's doing well. And I'm just, I'm just thankful. We just thankful and blessed. We're in a great situation. So I can't complain. Well, that wraps up our interview with Emil Polonese. Thank you all for watching Just For War TV. We'll see you next Tuesday.